This workshop was really valuable in actually creating a sense of the future and a sense of the future that was collective. I was excited about coming into the workshop because I've kind of worked through and dealt with a lot of these issues in theatre like about identity, belonging, diaspora, a bicultural, all of that stuff and so for me I wanted new conversations. The interesting thing about it, I think their mainstream spaces are trying really hard to be more diverse and inclusive but what is interesting about it is I guess the people higher up aren't inclusive and diverse. More of the money and the funding should be directed towards um, initiatives happening in places like Western Sydney, initiatives I guess which are led by people of colour. It should be consultations with specific communities. I feel like any program that gets made or implemented that thinks will work in one community and another community and another community, I don't think that's how that works. I think if you have funding to go into a space, you should be consulting with the elders in that space, with the community members who know best what young people need, what the community needs, and there's no like be or end or for running artistic programs. I would love to see that diversity trickle down, not just for me as an actor, but in terms of the people making those decisions. So people running the companies, people directing, crew. My vision for 2050 would be as well that, you know, diversity is embraced um, and that we don't even need to talk about diversity because it just happens. My ideal 2050 is when everyone is welcome and um, like we were saying in the workshops today, ceding governance to First Nations people. Something like diversity arts is not fighting for something, but actually um, just including. It's more inclusive and it's not about issues, it's more about, okay, let's keep involving everyone. I think that would be you know, where things were more integrated. That's what 2050 would look like.